now we will talk about the review process and this process is very formal okay sometimes we perform it and sometimes we don't perform the review in this formal way it might be informal review so the formal review activities or the process of it consists of six steps the first step is planning okay in planning we want for example to review the requirements so first we define the review criteria what are we going to review we select the personnel who are the people who are involved in this review then we allocate roles okay who will do what then we define the entry criteria and the exit criteria when to start the review and when to end the review and we select which parts of the document to review and then we check the entry criteria if the entry criteria is justified we can go to the next step which is kick off in the kick off the manager or the team leader distributes the document that will be reviewed to the team and he explains to them the objectives and the process that we are going to go through then each member of the team performs individual preparation each one of us prepares for the review meeting by reviewing the document and then he notes defects questions and comments if he has anything he writes it down so that he tells it to us in the review meeting so this is the fourth step review meeting we discuss the document and log the results and we note the defects and make recommendations and then we have to make decisions any issue that happens we should record it so that we will learn from this process after the review meeting comes rework we fix the defects that we found during the meeting who fixes the defects the author who wrote the document under test and then we change the status of the defects in the status report of each defect after the rework we should do follow-up we should make sure that those defects are solved so we check that defects have been addressed and solved and we gather the metrics what happened during the review and then we check the exit criteria is it achieved or not so who are the people who are involved in the formal review we have five different roles inside the formal review the first is the manager the manager decides that we should make a review he allocates time he makes sure that the review objectives are met then the moderator the moderator he is the leader of the review he is not the manager but he is the leader of the review process the moderator is the person upon whom the success of the review rests the author the author is the writer of the document that we are reviewing the reviewers are us okay people with technical or business background who after the preparation will give us findings so that the author will solve them the reviewers are also called as checkers or inspectors the scribe is the person who writes the issues that happened during the review meeting so that we learn from them so what are the types of reviews we have four major types of reviews okay and we will discuss them from the most informal to the most formal one the first is the informal review the informal review is informal like its name says results may be documented and maybe not it varies in usefulness depending on the reviewers if the reviewers are good and they do their job well the review is successful if not it will not be successful so what is the main purpose of this type of review it is an inexpensive way to get some benefit it doesn't consume resources it doesn't consume time or effort or money the second type of review is the walkthrough the walkthrough is a meeting led by the author in which he tries to teach us and educate us about the document that he wrote okay so for example the business analyst wrote the requirements and he wants us to understand them so he gathers us and he talks about it okay so it is an open-ended session we don't have to make a decision inside the walkthrough okay there is an optional scribe we may have a scribe and maybe not but the scribe must be someone other than the author it varies in practice from quite informal to very formal what is the purposes learning gaining understanding and finding defects so note here that finding defects is not the main purpose of the walkthrough the next review type is the technical review technical review is documented it must have a defined defect detection process in the ideal case it's led by a trained moderator who is not the author we have to prepare for the meeting the reviewers have to prepare for the meeting we have to make a review report after the review and it may vary in practice from quite informal to 
very formal. What is the purpose of the technical review? We discuss our project, we make decisions, we evaluate alternatives, we find defects, we solve technical problems, and we check that we are aligned with specifications, plans, regulations, and standards. The most formal type of review is inspection. Inspection is led by a trained moderator who is not the author. It must be led by a trained moderator. This is not an option, okay? It has defined roles. We must gather metrics. It has specified entry and exit criteria. We must prepare for the meeting. It must have a formal follow-up process. We have to write an inspection report which includes the list of findings. The only purpose of this review is to find defects. Any type of the reviews, walkthroughs, technical reviews, or inspections can be performed within a peer group. What is a peer group? For example, we are all juniors, okay? We all have experience ranging between zero years and two years or we are all team leaders or managers this is a peer group okay this is when colleagues at the same organizational level participate in the same review this is called a peer review so for example the peer technical review is a technical review that is done between colleagues at the same organizational level the success factors for reviews are each review should have clear objectives defined with it. We should value the testers and care about their opinion. Defects should be welcomed. There must be an atmosphere of trust so that everyone is courageous and can talk about the issues that he found. In the formal techniques, we should give training to the new employees so that they can participate in it in an effective way. The managers should support us, of course.